Hello, my name is Michael Thorne, and I'm an assistant professor in the Division of Neurology, Department of Medicine at Dalhousie. And I'm also a research fellow in the Division of Molecular Neuroscience at Dal, and the recipient of the DMRF Jillian's Hope uh, Fellowship in MS Research. Multiple sclerosis, or MS, is a chronic uh, autoimmune disorder. It's, uh, it's a demyelinating disorder, so which means that uh, the myelin or the insulating covering around nerves uh, becomes damaged. Uh, it's an immune-mediated disease, meaning that immune cells, uh, for one reason or another, uh, get in and attack the nervous system. So it's one of the most common causes of disability in young adults. And in Canada, there are approximately 77,000 people living with MS. So in MS, the diagnosis involves both a clinical assessment and an MRI. Now, although the MRI is the best test, there are some limitations and that's where our research comes in. In the lab, we've identified an enzyme called butylcholinesterase that's altered in these MS plaques. And we can see changes uh, using the new techniques we've developed that we wouldn't normally see on an MRI. So it's very exciting in that we could potentially identify disease at an earlier stage than we would be able to identify with an MRI. And as well, we might be able to identify um, more subtle changes going on in the brain. In addition, uh, some of the work we've done has been just to further understand uh, how the MS disease progresses. So although there's been a lot of research done, we don't currently understand exactly what causes MS and exactly how the disease progresses. And so part of my research is just looking at, uh, looking at that and taking one small part of the whole MS disease and just trying to get a bit more of an understanding as to uh, how that happens. I would like to say thank you, thank you very much to Jillian's Hope, to the family, to the close friends, to all the supporters that have donated to the Jillian's Hope Fellowship. Thank you so very much and it's uh, been an honor and a privilege to be the recipient of this award.